one word, I would call her bubbly. Hannah's always happy. No matter what's going on, Hannah's happy. I would say she's my best friend. You know, things kind of unfolded uh, the last week of August in 2016. She was losing weight. She wasn't eating a whole lot. She was complaining of some joint pain. There was a few bloody noses. Um, by the mid-August, she developed a large lump on the side of her nose. This just isn't Hannah. Hannah's such a happy-go-lucky, warm, bubbly, cartwheeling kind of kid. And all of a sudden, she was lethargic and laying on the couch for a couple of days and um, most of it was chalked up to growing pains. You know, Tammy really on Wednesday said, something's wrong, this is not Hannah, can you get her into the, to the doctors? And by the end of that day, we were at the hospital. And I still remember coming off the elevator, coming around the corner and looking at the sign, pediatric oncology. And Tammy took a post -it note and she wrote on it, they're talking about IWK and she passed it to me and I read that and my heart sank. And uh, that's when things started to get serious and I started to get concerned. I sat down and Tammy stood beside me and the doctor looked at us and said, well, I'm 95% sure your daughter's got leukemia. And uh, I don't know that anybody's ever ready to hear those words. Um, that was the hardest thing I've ever heard in my life and I was devastated. I was hysterical and uh, I was scared. And all I could think of is that, oh my God, are we gonna lose our little girl? The word cancer, of course, is, um, you know, you associate that with, with dying. Um, so when you hear the words cancer uh, and your nine-year-old daughter, um, it was the worst feeling that a parent could ever experience. Especially when your nine-year-old daughter is, um, you know, She's just so tiny. The doctor told us that, uh, and she said it so casually. She said, we can, we can cure this. I was a nine-year-old girl going into fourth grade with a bald head and all my friends were like really shocked of it. So my brothers and my dad shaved their head for me and I remember just feeling very happy about it and very, not so alone, and seeing that my family really cared about me. At the IWK they have a bell that symbolizes you're going to ring it when you are finished treatment and you're back to being healthy. And the bell's always this like big thing that I was like, okay, it's in the future, I get to ring this eventually. But it never really realized it was going to actually happen that I was going to ring that bell one day. Walking up to the bell, it was like, that big thing that I've been looking forward to, like my whole journey, it was right there in front of me and I was ready to ring it. And that was a symbolize of when I was done treatment. I was really excited. I could feel myself like jumping a little. We don't want other people to have to go through what we went through and even worse, you know, go through losing a child to cancer. One of the toughest conversations I had was with, with a doctor and the doctor told me something that to this day I still recall. He said, Corey, we'd be having a much different conversation if this was 20 years ago. And it was at that point that I realized, oh my goodness, you know, and how far we've come with research and all of the doctors and all the scientists and all the wonderful work that they do, you know, how lucky we are to be able to enjoy our success in this terrible, terrible battle. But we're so blessed today that uh, thanks to all the, all of the work and all the money that's been donated, all the research that's been done, you know, we today have our little girl with us because of all that. And we're so thankful for that.